Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? I, actually, I'm remarkably good, and I've been looking forward to tonight. It's like I don't don't know why. Why the hell would I be? Doing? No, I, I'm I'm enjoying every second of this. I really enjoy these. I really I enjoy these. Been, becoming a bit obsessive, honestly. Well, I've got a good track for you. Have you really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Deep Purple. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, now, now, obviously, I, I know Deep Purple. I'm, I'm like, I'm not an aficionado like like you have been, but there's some like some crazy stuff. Oh, well, Child in Time, Child in Time. time, yeah, oh, yeah, live. Know, where live? We don't know which which. Do you know which? No. We don't know. We don't okay. know. We know it's 1970. <laughs> It's not. Sure some, could someone tell us where this is, please? Because we can't Absolutely. simply do our own research. And it's not. And it's not. And it's not. In, it's not the uh, live in Japan. Ah, uh, because I know live in Japan. So okay, yeah, yeah which is an awesome album. If anyone's not listened to it, oh my god, that's a good album. And we have a connection, don't we? With What's Mr. the connection? Mr. Lord. Oh, he lived. He lived. Yes. Goring on Thames. And we yeah. are the Thames men. We will talk we'll talk about that in a minute and the connection of us. Okay. All right, yeah. All right. I just wondered though. Yeah. Let's watch the video. And I want to see what you think of this one compared to Child in Time. I think it's just unbelievable. Love really you mean the Okay. Hold on a second. Let me get my head yeah. head get sorted. Head okay. I think I'm right. there. All right. Tell me when. Are you ready, big boy? Always. always. <laughs> I know, that's, that's your problem. All right, three, <laughs> just one of them. Two, <laughs> one, go. Oh, oh Pace, what a drummer. Good looking audience. Day and 
desastre. Goes Blackmore. Love the drumming in the back as well.
Excellent. Oh my lord. Okay, that god. is Oh my god. I, like I like that. Like I gotta get like my hair out for this, you know, like my 70s hair, you know, because like gotta be like oh, I aspire to be that person. How about that? As well. That's perfect. It looks like a <laughs> wig, you know? Oh, that was just unbelievable. When the the um yeah, oh God, just a musicianship all the way through. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I, isn't it weird though that like things recorded in that day, like the audience was like uh, super passive. Like, oh. and I don't know because they were in like a TV show. They were told, you know, don't, well, don't, um, well, don't move. Well, the you audience, know? right? I mean, I've been mean, analyzing. I've been analyzing the audience. <laughs> I I don't know if they knew what they were going to see. First of all. If you were to take a couple of kids there, right? Well, you shouldn't take a couple of kids there because they are they, they were the self-proclaimed loudest band. Now, if you look at this picture here, I'm going to send you. Okay. Um, not that one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not that one. Uh, this one. Um, let me get rid of that one. Oh, damn it. Here we go. There's two pictures going. We'll fix it in the edit, shall we? Yeah, <laughs> fix it in the edit. Look at the kids there on the bottom one, right? Oh. <laughs> that kid is scared shitless. Oh, well, yeah, but, but the one on the right, is he just like come out of his prep school with like his car keys on and his tie and his jacket? Poor kid. What the fuck's he doing there? Well, maybe, um, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe one of his dads is the player. He only so. came out Christmas shopping and he's, he's seen that. <laughs> Now and also, I was looking. I was, I was looking at the. I was looking at the crowd, and uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've got the wrong audience. If I can, if I can say, well, would they be there for like a game show or yeah. something? I mean, <laughs> well, like, I mean, we need to find out what the show was, what the recording was, because maybe they were just an interim interlude in something a lot more prosaic. Have, have a look at that. Well, well, let me just let me just scroll up to it. There you got. You've got um, one woman <laughs> on the left, just totally <laughs> not impressed. <laughs> And the two in the middle, they only came here to see the Osmonds. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, it was striking. Like, you got this band who are rocking out like nothing else, who are, uh, you know, Goodness. screaming his lungs out. And they're just sitting there going, Yeah, look at, look at these two. <laughs> I called them couldn't give a shit twins. <laughs> I mean, they, they're, they're wondering when the free buffet is going to kick in. Maybe Blackmore's just doing the greatest solo, and the one on the left is thinking, "I wonder, uh, I wonder <laughs> if I left my cigarettes in the car." And the one <laughs> on the right just go, "What the fuck is going?" On? They didn't know what they were watching. <laughs> what stories made me come and watch? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the link is the link is um, yeah, you're yeah, right. So you say John Lord. So John, Lord, I always knew John Lord. So so we, we, as you guys may know, we are the Thames men because we come from the Thames Valley. That's just our link. And but Alex the, lived, but the but the Thames Valley, where we come from, is a very small enclave of a lot of famous rock stars. It, it's not, not us. us. <laughs> well, your dad, not but not us. us. Remarkable, and and it's a place called Goring on Thames, and uh, Townsend um, had a house had a house there. Obviously, George Michael has a house there, and there's only three thousand people that live there. Um, there was, uh, come on, uh, Jimmy uh, in Gillen born. Gillen was down at uh, just down the road at the Springs, and he had a he had a uh, went around his place. He had a, um, a swimming pool guitar shape. Uh, his no, pool guitar. really, yeah. and 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 Lord John Lord. Hello to the Lord kids if you're watching, and um, also Johnny uh, Johnny Wilkes if you're watching because he knows uh, their daughter. So John Lord lives up the top of the hill of Goring. And what was cool? He had a bit, his house was like this white with two to black lines on it, wasn't it? it kind of yeah. set back quite a long That's way back it. from a gateway. But what was really cool about his house was that when you drove in, the front lawn was a cricket pitch, and he with a little English. Really? You know, yeah. With a, and so he used to he used to hold these. Uh, he used well, to hold, a pavilion, did he? He did a little pavilion, school card, and everything. And uh, the funny thing is, he used to do the. He used to hold these cricket matches. So my dad went up. My dad's a musician, and all the other Harrys went up. And they would all wear these cricket whites. And then all the wives would have, you know, the uh, they would have their picnics, and we would all the um, Aston Martins be around with it, uh, with a license plate like LSD one and LF, uh, UFO one and whatever. And he's and they all had long hair, and they'd be a, and they'd come flying down and bowl, and the hair would be everywhere. And they had four, you know, they loved it. They all loved it. But the funny thing was, 
I'd um, love to see a picture of that. Is there any way we can Google that and find a picture somewhere or? Probably somewhere. I, oh. I, I could dig one out probably somewhere. But the funny thing was when I went up there and I, we were having a picnic and my dad's playing and there were all these, you know, super famous, you know, Purple were there and Zeppelin were there and whoever there. Who did I go and get an autograph from? Who <laughs> did, who? Like a moth to the flame I was. <laughs> and and I told my dad I, I'm going to go to him and I want I want to get his autograph. My dad's like, you know, He's a rock musician with hair all the way down like that. And he just looked at me and goes, really? I said, yeah, I really want to autograph. Like a moth to the flame. Ready? Do you know who it was? It TV was uh, Gary fucking Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> like a moth to the flame. Biggest pedophile there ever was. He had, he had, he had, he had and, a... and, 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 and he didn't fancy you? No, he didn't fucking touch me. <laughs> but, 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 I, yeah, have, you, but, have you still got that autograph? I, I, I haven't got over it. <laughs> you, were, you were you were rejected by Gary Glitter and it's no, scarred you for life. Rock stars are playing and the greatest rock gods there are, and there's Gary freaking Glitter playing on the <laughs> on the team for some reason. He had a white Rolls Royce with the with and it, with a crushed Coke can, I think, on the front. And I went up to him to get his autograph, and I remember the look on my father's face of utter uh, disappointment. <laughs> he, he was nice. He said, go on, you know, but I, he was. I was like a moth to the flame. Gary knew what he was doing. Even at cricket matches, he managed to get the kids to come up to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's banged up now, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Persona non grata, I would suggest. And then, um, yeah, and you're right. Uh, and then the... the um, Gillen had the... Which is now the Springs... You said that, um, yeah, yeah, and he had just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Springs, um, which is now a golf club, um, but and now the house is abandoned now, and the swimming pool. You could look it up. It was a nice swimming pool. It was, a, it was cool. That was the best thing about it. Was it a Telecaster or, a, or what was no, it? No. <laughs> just, just yeah. a guitar-shaped pool, was it? So. But the uh, what got me into what got me into purple, and what actually got me into um, the uh, that uh, that that you know the it, all purple when I was about sixteen, I bought a tape. And I'm going to put it down there, and it's 24. It's called 24 Carat Purple, and it was a it was an album released by Purple, and it was kind of the best of Purple. And I remember driving to Cambridge in my Morris Minor on my tape deck, and Child of Time came on, and I, that song just got me. Loved it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, Deep Purple, like I, they were so good, and I suppose they didn't become like. I suppose at that time, all songs had to be like four minutes long for radio airplay. And they didn't make four minute songs, really, did they? You know, and um, yeah, they, they were they were the 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 epic nine minute tracks or the, you know, uh, half a song or a song took up half the side of a vinyl album, you know, kind of people, you know. Yeah. Not they're 45 also, they're also, now, they're also you could, you know, musicians were being musicians because of their their um, their skill level. And not not because of what they look like then, obviously, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. But and they and they were just. I mean, they were all superb musicians. I mean, like Pacey on the drums is just phenomenal. One of my favourite drummers of all time. And then you got Gillum, yeah. um, and then you got I mean, Lord. Could, you know. Have you ever heard the track um, when Ian Gillum was solo? Uh, is it New Orleans? No. Oh, maybe we'll have to do that one. I love that. It's a, just an ass kicking, rocking version. Uh, and Gillen rocks, totally rocks. So. Did, have you ever listened to Jesus Christ Superstar, the original cast version? Oh, yeah, that was Ian Gillen, wasn't it? That, he got that gig from Child and Time when they heard Child and Time and they thought, oh, yeah, he's good. And then and then they got him over and then uh, then they wanted him to go on tour with, uh, you know, with uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. And he refused to because he, he asked that uh, Rice and whoever pay for the whole of Deep Purple not to tour while he goes on tour with them. Oh, really? used to do that but that's cool and then and yeah because that that soundtrack i mean jesus christ superstar is like not that i'm a fan of musical theater or anything oh, but that, that is a that really good i know i love that album yeah. and then and then finally yeah, i do love that one. the uh and there's uh yeah i'm gonna put the image in there um i <laughs> sent uh, i'm not i sent i went um about a year and a half ago i was in san francisco and i took my mm, he would have been six six year old to go and see purple and uh and and arlo as well and then we went there and, and um yeah they loved it absolutely loved it and and he's still gillen still got his voice now really Basically. i mean after after oh, it's got to have taken some abuse to have done all that really you know and um 
Yeah, no, they were they just uh, like they were the icons of, for me of like that sort of seventies rock god kind of. And know. the song I can't stand of theirs, smoke, smoke on, on the, the water. Yeah. Huh? Smoke on the water. Well, just because it, I just because it's been played so many times, and if you go into Guitar Center, everyone plays it. That's the cliche of it, but. Yeah, the story, I know it's, it's, no, it's no fault of their own because the song is really well written. It's got one of the, it's got the best riff out there, and and the lyrics on it are so superb about you know the Montreux, uh Yeah, the, the studio catching fire on the Rolling Stone mobile and all that stuff, and it's a great story. You know, like that's cool. You know, that's part of the the, the mystique, I suppose. You know? Yeah, it's a brilliant band, brilliant band. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I was brilliant. That's a, that's the way to do your evenings. Do a bit of Deep Purple, perfect, perfect. Um, Watch out for Gary Glitters. Do we have to do a score on this one? Oh, well, there's no need, is there? We know where it is. Well, yeah, All but right. what if we put our charts together at some point? Or do we have to come back and revisit? I, I want, behind you, I want I want the top 20 charts. but And, and then and then any track we've got to do, it should, it's got to try and knock out one of those tracks. Because I, I would I would just wang this straight up. Okay, so, so we, maybe we'll do a special show, which is just a rating show one day, just so to get out of the way all the past stuff, and then we can add to stuff in the future. Perfect. So then we yeah. don't have to do this one over. We can actually have, how many do you think we can get on? 20, 30, 10? I don't know. I, I suppose we could like, it depends how big I write really, doesn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we'll do it. We'll work it out. Yeah. All right. Upgrade. So, yeah. Fantastic. All right, mate. Well, I, that was awesome. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I, I, it's, it's my time to go and pick something for you. So I better go off and do some work and we'll talk later. Ciao. Bye. Cheers, mate. See ya. Yeah.